Well, that's great. It was good to get him in there. I mean, you know, he's still working, working himself back in, in the true form. You got to understand, he had, hadn't played uh, since uh, August. Uh, so he, this, this is a big open date for him too, because again, just more fundamental work. We'll go back and we'll, we'll, we'll work on some things from camp uh, and try to, you know, reestablish some of our, our uh, core values that we believe in from a practice standpoint, fundamentals and things like that, but also get a good, you know, a good foundation in place, a good head start on those guys um, uh, and get ready for this next one. Gonna, you know, it'll be a tough, tough battle. We always know that. This will be the biggest game of the year. Uh, and uh, hadn't won down there in a long time. So, you know, we look forward to it. It'll be a great, uh, great opportunity for us. But, you know, we're 7-0 and we're glad to be there. Going from the end of regulation to that loaded overtime, for a single overtime, a lot happened in there, the botch snap included, then the big catch and the touchdown. <coughs> the penalty on mind? first down. Yeah. What, what were your emotions going through all? What did it mean to watch your guys celebrate like that in the end? That was awesome. And I just, like I said, I, th I thought the staff did a great job. We just, it just, it, you know, when you do this long enough, you're going to have some days where you just got to try to kind of help them a little bit. And we weren't going to help anybody out there today with kind of losing our poise as coaches. Uh, we just tried to just keep them pushing forward and, and just hang in there. Just keep playing, you know. See if we can, don't pout. Let's just, let's just keep grinding. Keep believing uh, that you can find a way to win the game. And, uh, so it was, uh, it was, it was a, quite a game to be a part of. Like I said, one I won't ever forget. And, um, the last two, I mean, these last two games in the Valley, uh, <laughs> crazy. Uh, and, and, you know, like I said, nine turnovers and you win both of them. It's just, it just blows my mind. So hopefully we can clean that up and, and be the, the type of team that I know we're capable of being. Marcus Edmonds, Marcus Edmonds, uh, this guy who uh, kind of come through a lot because of transfer and gone somewhere else. Can you talk about? His perseverance is staying with you guys. Coach Edmonds mentioned to us today. Yeah, I mean, well, that's, that's that's the way it should be. You know, you hang in there. Marcus Edmonds was a guy that needed to, you know, he took, we knew he could run. Uh, we really liked him. For, felt like he fit our, our culture, and uh, thought he had good potential. You know, he was a potential guy, and you know, you 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 got to put the work in. And he redshirted. It. Didn't play, I don't think he played at all as a redshirt freshman. And then as a redshirt sophomore, played a little bit on special teams, and, uh, a little bit toward the end of the season in some spurts. Um, but just continued to improve and get better and, and had a great off season, had a great spring, took advantage of his opportunity and uh, got serious about football, in my opinion. Uh, I think that, you know, when he first was in here, it was like, man, I, don't, I got all these guys in front of me. and. Uh, it, he, he really got serious about it, saw his opportunity, and he's just, he did a great job. Unfortunate, you know, he, he, got, he was, went in as the starter in camp and practiced one day. So he missed all of camp, and, but we, you know, he's back, and it's good to see him uh, continue to, to play and not get frustrated. Uh, but that's what it's all about. I mean, guys just, if they work, they're going to improve. And if they hang in there, eventually, you know, they'll, they'll have some success. And uh, I think he's a great example to his teammates. Uh, you mentioned the um, in, uh, these bikes, Dalton's injury. Is that the game plan, or is he injured? No, no, it's just just uh, coach's decision. He wasn't, he wasn't not injured at all. We we were getting ready to put him in. As a matter of fact, we had him kind of dialed up, ready to go. But but uh, Tony just he, he felt like you know uh, wanted to roll with Fuller right there uh, with with the amount of stuff that we had going on in that game. He hasn't had a ton of experience, especially in a situation like that. And he's still a young player, uh, and Fuller. You know, like I said, really kind of settled us down, and uh, we just kind of you know rolled with him uh, the rest of the way. You talked about the block field goal, and Christian obviously was in there in the jumbo package and had the ten yard run on the fake. Have you been around a guy, an athlete that is his size, that is able to do as much as he can? And, and what kind of you know a weapon does that make in terms of just all kinds of different things yeah. that you can do with him on both sides of the ball? Well, I just think he's an energy player. You know, he's one of those guys that, that just raises everybody's level of play, brings great, great energy to practice. He, he loves to be involved. This guy starts on punt team. He starts on field goal team. Starts on field goal block team. Uh, I mean, he, he's, he he's works in on some offensive stuff. He loves it. He's just a guy that is a very uh, savvy, instinctive, high football IQ guy. And uh, again, just big energy. It doesn't matter if we're doing a team pass period of practice. He, he's He's creating energy out there, and uh, he's just talented. I mean, he's a weapon, um, and that's why we use him because 
you know, he's a unique talent. Uh, I've, I haven't been around many guys like him that have that type of package, that type of athleticism, and all the intangibles to go with it. Uh, he's, he's really been a, a joy to be around this first year and a half. And, uh, we're thankful we got it. Brent said there was a coach's decision that Trent Wiggins wouldn't play today. What was the reason behind that? Uh, the other guys were in front of him. I mean, with Ron Carter and, and uh, Kayvon is really it. Nothing, <laughs> nothing that he's done and nothing bad. He's just, he was just in a backup role today. It's really that simple. Anything else? Okay. All right.